Hello everyone. Uh, today I have brought another tutorial for you people and that is to convert the AI file into editable PSD files. Uh, the PSD file that we will be creating will be 100% editable and the reason uh, you may come across to convert the AI file into PSD is the limitation of your clients. Normally, usually uh, your clients do not have the software or have the expertise to use the Adobe Illustrator whereas you are more comfortable in creating the vector illustration like this or line art in Adobe Illustrator where as in Photoshop it takes a great amount of time and the uh, results are also not 100% uh, desirable. So and uh, we are going also going to have a look in this video that there are certain elements that are more easy to edit in Photoshop than in Illustrator. So you may need to convert the AI file into editable PSD at some point. So let's take an example of this illustration that we have created in Adobe Illustrator. We have created this black outline. We have created the, uh, this watercolor effect. We have created these splatters. So now let's see how we can make it editable into PSD. Uh, there are no uh, detailed steps, just few steps and uh, there you go. Okay, so go to window panel, layers and here you can see we have created all the things in a single layer. So if we export it directly into Photoshop, it will all only contain one layer. So first of all, we have to ensure that the elements that we have created are grouped individually. As we can see, every object is grouped individually okay so create multiple layers let's say we have created nine layers so on the first layer we will be keeping uh, we will be keeping this green object okay so let's start dragging the objects we want to keep this black line art at the top so we will be moving it on the top layer okay and then the individually put each and everything on separate layers like this okay we have to make sure that the splatter should be on top so it does not get hidden beneath the main uh, the watercolor effect okay once we have done that delete this layer as it is empty go to file export export as select psd okay and let's save it like this okay now it has created the editable psd layer oh one thing i forgot to do let's put another layer of text as well so let's see if the text remains at a table in adobe photoshop or not okay let's try this as well okay i'll export it one more time because we have added the text and it is done now we are going in the folder and opening the photoshop file okay now we are in the photoshop and we can see that each and every layer is independent of each other we can move any layer we can move this line art and the good thing is that the text we have put in adobe illustrator is completely editable in the photoshop as well and one more thing that i was saying that as you can see that there are multiple elements to create this watercolor effect that is not easy to edit in adobe illustrator but look how simply we can edit it adobe photoshop we simply have to go to view saturation panel adjust the saturation and look how easily we can change the color which is not much easier in adobe illustrator to do that look how we can easily change the colors so this was a short tutorial that you may find handy and may be needing in your projects. So keep liking, keep learning, keep sharing. Thanks for watching.